Hello and welcome to another tutorial video here from Zenata Consulting. My name is Tyler Colt, and in this video we're going to be going over an overview of the integrations available between Zoho Calendar, Zoho Meeting, and Zoho Bookings. And this video is actually an excerpt from a full webinar that we did on all three of those products. So if you find this useful, you might want to check that out. The link is in the description below. Before we jump in, I do want to ask if you find this video useful, please be sure to like and subscribe as that really does help us out. And if it sparks any feedback, questions, video requests, uh, please do drop those in the comments section below as we try to read and respond to each and every one of those on our weekly podcast, Azaz. Thanks again for watching and we hope you enjoy. We have found our way back into Zoho Calendar. This is where we're going to start with some of our integration discussion. So up in the top right, under Settings, I had mentioned App Calendars earlier. So App Calendars, these are all of the other Zoho applications that have their own calendar. Yes, there is this many. There are six and seven, including Zoho Calendar itself. There's probably more. Actually, there, there definitely is. There's things like Connect, etc. But some of these calendars are ones where they have a pre-built integration that can sync between the two apps. So all of these work similarly. I'm going to show it for CRM. Essentially, we're able to sync in a Zoho CRM calendar. This will pull in any of the meetings that are on the CRM calendar for particular users, and it will add it as a separate calendar over here on the left. And wow, that was good timing. That just popped in like right as my mouse was uh, circling over here. Definitely planned. So over here, we've got our Zoho CRM calendar. One thing to keep in mind, it does kind of carve these out, right? It, it keeps them separate from your My Calendar and puts it on a Zoho CRM calendar. Now, you can still see all of those on one page, but they can be filtered separately. So a lot of people kind of like that, just that you're able to slice and dice your calendar view. As I mentioned, lots of other applications can, in fact, do this, but CRM is kind of the big one that we find ourselves using most of the time, so we like to show this for there. Jumping into Zoho Meeting, and I'll go into Settings and Apps, we've got, as I mentioned, a whole boatload of integration options for various other Zoho applications. So Zoho Mail shows up here, but it's already done. If you have both apps, they click them together, you're good to go. Um, you don't really need to worry about it. Zoho CRM for meeting is kind of a nice one here. If we are scheduling meetings through CRM, we can actually use this to add a Zoho meeting directly to that event. So I'll actually show that here. Very quick integration. It's done, right? It's integrated. I click three times. It's done. We're good. Um, so let's say I jump over to any old contact. We'll go to one of our demo contacts here. What this integration does on the CRM side is it means that if I go to open activities and if I create a meeting, um, I'm now going to be able to make this an online meeting powered by Zoho Meeting. So what that means, all that really does basically is going to add that URL automatically. It's going to create the meeting for it and make sure that it shows up everywhere that it needs to. I'm going to go ahead and save this as an example CRM meeting. Now we'll see it connected to our contact record. So, you know, invite went out, view invitation link. We've got all our good stuff here. If I jump back over to my calendar, just like that, it has actually pulled over my meeting. And in here, I've got my Zoho meeting, right? So it's just that simple. These can be done via API or via script as well. So if you have maybe a blueprint or, you know, your team is regularly scheduling meetings out of CRM, uh, you can actually automate that these invites go out and you can automate that they include the meeting integration. Similar thing there, you know, Zoho campaigns, right? You're able to connect, send meeting invites via there. Zoho projects, if you have an internal event, you can just add a Zoho meeting to it. Um, so really, without going, you know, line by line through all of these, the short story is any application on this page, if it has a calendar, you can use this integration with Zoho meeting to just easily add a unique Zoho meeting link for that particular calendar. Nothing crazy there, pretty much works the same as probably whatever you're using now. The big one here comes in with Zoho Bookings. As I mentioned earlier, Meeting and Zoho Calendar kind of naturally integrate, right? Like if you have them both turned on, then you can add a Zoho Meeting to a Zoho Calendar event, no problem. Uh, bookings, you do have to turn these on. So I'm gonna go under our Integration tab. 
and there's a few different options for integration. You can connect these out with a variety of different calendars, you know, Zoho Calendar, Zoho CRM Calendar, Google, and, uh, you know, Office 365. Do have to put the asterisks here. Google and Outlook can be a little bit finicky. We have seen cases where, you know, I book something onto a Google Calendar. Let's say it was booked at 2 p.m. Let's say on Google Calendar, I click and drag and move it to 4 p.m. Zoho Bookings does not always register that update. We've seen it do it. But we've also seen it not. So if you're using an external calendar, our advice is do your rescheduling in Bookings. Click and drag it here. Then it will definitely push over to Google Calendar and work without an issue. But just something to be aware of. Um, Bookings really does work best if you're all in the Zoho ecosystem. I'm going to go ahead and enable the Zoho Calendar integration here. And what's important is that it's a two-step process. I have now enabled it for the organization. Each user needs to connect it for themselves. Or the admin can connect it on behalf. But it does need to be done for each individual user. So now I'm under my, you see what it did there? It did a little sneaky thing. I was in integration. Once I clicked configure now, it punted me over to my profile, right? Because this is set up for me. I am picking what calendars I want to integrate with. So I've gone ahead and accepted that. We can choose here which calendars we want to take into account for picking my availability. As an example, I might not want my group calendar to make me look blocked right? Because maybe I'm not even on that. Maybe it's not even a meeting that has to do with me. Um, but it's something that the consulting team development team is looking at. We'll need to associate which staff or resource, you know, pick yourself. Uh, it's your calendar. And then we need to choose where do we want these bookings to go. And so for me, I want these to go onto my personal Zoho mail calendar. So I'll go ahead and configure that accordingly. Once I click proceed, that sync has now started. You can actually trigger a manual sync as well as kind of the regular automatic syncs that it's going to do. You can also add more than one account. So if you wanted this to write to multiple different calendars, you can do that without an issue. If we jump over to the calendar tab now, we should be able to see that that meeting from Zoho Calendar has come on in. And so we'll see here over on the calendar, now we do have those time slots synced in, matching the time slots there from the Zoho calendar itself. So again, what that does essentially blocks off time on Zoho bookings, makes it so that when users go to try to book you at those times, it will show as blocked, right? It won't be available as an option for them when they are booking their meeting. Back to the integrations, the other big one here, I'll skip video conferencing, that's the big one, we'll come back to it. Payments, if you do want to collect any payments on demand for your sessions, you know, you get a payment in advance, a deposit, anything like that, you can connect a variety of different payment processors in. Couple other little integrations here, of course, connects out to Zapier, SMS Magic, and Twilio for sending out notifications. Has a pretty slick little integration for CRM where you can send out booking invitations natively through a lead or contact record. Assist if you'd like to do any on-site support, you know, big in, anything like that. Now, the big other option here is what meeting tool do we want to have that will connect in? Really, the one that is supported natively is Zoho Meetings. GoToMeeting is done via Zoho Flow. Zoom and Google are both done via Zapier. So you're going to want to use Zoho Meeting if you're using Zoho Bookings. Here, I can go ahead and connect that. And it is now connected into my Bookings account. And so now that we've got uh, Zoho Meeting connected, we have to actually decide which services should use Zoho Meeting and create that virtual online meeting. To do that, we'll jump into services. We've got our 30 and 60. Here under the kind of top level service information, we can choose that we want to create an online meeting for this. And that will just automatically create it, add it to the calendar event, kind of do the whole thing and take care of the process for us. So now just on the back end, we'll kind of show this all together. I'll go ahead and copy this link, drop it in to my URL here. It's going to be a 30 minute meeting. We're going to auto assign staff. Actually, we'll grab demo user. Let's say I'm going to book this for Thursday. I'll go ahead and book that here. We'll put in an example, name, email, and phone number. And we are all scheduled. 
So we'll see here, it's actually gonna add that Zoho meeting link right here over to the calendar. The user will get the ability to add this to their calendar directly or download it as an ICS file. Over within Zoho bookings, if we jump into our calendar here, should see that meeting here for Thursday, right? When I had gone ahead and booked that. And then lastly, over on our calendar itself, I'll go ahead and give that a refresh. We should see that pop in as well at that time that we went ahead and booked it on the Zoho booking side. So with that, you know, that kind of covers the core integration there. Of course, we're able to set up Google Calendar syncing between various other Zoho applications, able to set up Zoho meeting so that you're able to easily add a meeting URL to a variety of different events on calendars across the Zoho ecosystem. And then lastly, we went ahead and showed how to set up that integration here for bookings where you need to connect it to calendar, to Zoho meeting, to any payment processors that you may want to use, and everything should be clicked together nicely.